So every so often I catch myself being very clever, which is what I just did. Uh, on the RV, and this happens with all RVs pretty much, it rides on a set of springs. When you park it somewhere and you walk through it, it will woggle a little bit on the springs. Not a lot, because they're pretty stiff springs, but a little, enough to notice. Enough so that someone else is laying in bed or sitting on the couch and you walk through, they can feel the house shake. Now there's things that could prevent that if they were designed correctly. For example, that right there is a set of car jack stands. I don't like them very much because they're not real, real heavy duty. In fact, I replaced them with a set of these, which are real heavy duty, and I like these a lot better. I should have four of those. Oh, there's a the fourth one over there. Uh, but those won't do because there's no way to adjust them. Yes, you take that little pin out and by moving it up and down in the holes, you can raise and lower it. But you can't really adjust it up snug against something that hasn't been jacked up. And what I also have is this is, and it's in the box. I didn't use this one, but you can see a picture of it. This is like a house um, support jack. And it has a little screw mechanism that sits on the top of it. The screw mechanism looks a lot like this. Well, actually, this is one of them. And this piece screws up and down. This round piece fits into a piece of pipe. Like thusly. And then there's a little piece that goes on the top of that. To go up against the floor. Like that. Now, if I could combine that with that, I would have a jack stand that's small and lightweight, which I could put under there and adjust up and down. So this piece won't fit into that. And even if it did, you wouldn't have this adjustable part and it won't fit into this. And this doesn't exactly fit into that. But it occurred to me that if I were to take, this, let's see how I was gonna set this up. If I were to take this, Cut a piece of this, eh, three or four inches is all you need, and then knock the edges down on this thing and then weld that right there. Then I'd still have my adjustment up and down here, plus I would create an ability to adjust this further by turning this mechanism. So I'd basically be modifying these from the kind of jack stands that they were, which require you to jack up a car and then let it down on top of it, to the kind that they could be, which allows me to raise this up and down till that's pretty close, and then turn that little valve just to make it nice and snug. On a RV, you're not trying to lift the RV, you're just trying to put a little something under the snugget. These are small enough and light enough, if I clean them up real good, that they'd be pretty easy to tuck them away inside a box in the back of the camper. These little pieces aren't real big. They don't take up a lot of space. And these they don't take up a lot of space. So, we can make that work. Yes. We could make that work. Boy, that one looks like it's been stripped. That just may be the way my eyes are. Though. Okay. So, I may have some more pieces and parts to all that around here. So I know I've got, I think I saw another one of these plates the other day. So, with that said, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to free these up. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to weld, I'm going to cut me four pieces of that. I need to have a fairly straight cut on those. Then I'm going to weld these to that. And then I'm going to wash everything up, clean everything up and prepare it to go into the RV and make our trip with us. Oh, the joy.